Today's medication is called eptifibatide, and its brand name is Integralin. It falls under the class of platelet aggregation inhibitors. The mechanism of action of eptifibatide is that it inhibits platelet aggregation by binding with the glycoprotein 2B and 3A receptor. This prevents the binding of fibrinogen. So what is it given for? It's given for acute coronary syndrome, non-STEMIs, and patients that undergo certain cardiac procedures. I usually give a disclaimer and say, as always, make sure you're abiding by your local protocol and staying within your scope of practice. But eptifibatide isn't something that we typically carry on the ambulance. If we are ever going to see it, it's probably going to be on an inter-facility transport. So the dose is just going to vary according to the indication and the physician's orders. Pediatric doses are just not recommended. Contraindications are going to be active bleeding, GI, intracranial or external bleeding, and trauma in the last six weeks. Adverse reactions of eptifibatide can include GI bleeding, intracranial hemorrhage, hypotension, or pulmonary hemorrhage. Drug interactions. You want to use with caution with other anticoagulants and do not administer through the same line with Lasix. And it can be supplied in a 2 milligram in 1 milliliter vial. A few side notes about this medication. It doesn't break down existing clots. It just helps prevent the formation of future clots. And just like I mentioned earlier, ambulances don't typically carry this medication. If you wa- if you do see it, it's probably going to be on an interfacility transport. So if a patient is experiencing an acute myocardial infarction or cardiac-related chest pain, pain. Um, In the 911 EMS setting, we do have aspirin for this situation. Obviously, if there's no allergy and it's in your scope and protocol. And the onset of this medication is within a few minutes. You want to avoid any new puncture sites or monitor current incisions and punctures for bleeding. As always, remember to abide by your local protocol and stay within your scope of practice. This video is purely informational for those in the EMS field and never meant to be used in the place of medical direction, local protocol, or formal education. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next week. Bye!